took my name. Sam, your acts of heroism have transcended through multiple timelines and universes. I'm a descendant of an ancient team called the Omega Rangers. Once upon a time, you saved us. Can you give us uh, your behind the scenes recap of how it started, where it's been, where, and where it's going? Yeah, I'd like to say it's all happy accidents. We kind of just evolve and grow and things just kind of get piling on in a way where we wanted them. Uh, unfortunately, due to people moving away or things just ending, we, we don't have all four shows going on at once. But that's the beauty of the extended universe is that all of our shows could continue on to the ones that ended. So behind the scenes is this. It's four shows, five including found footage. We're all happening at once. Now we are deciding what what shows will survive and where we are going.
right now, man. We can feel the passion. We can feel the energy. We can feel the love. Um, there's creativity flowing through here. I've seen videographers. I've seen cosplayers, cosplay prop makers. And on behalf of everybody at Anime Pasadena, check it. I'm being genuine when I say this. We wouldn't be here without all of you. So please, let's give a round of applause to everybody sitting next to each other. All right, introducing first, ladies and gentlemen, you may know him as a little mysterious, as a little bit quirky, usually always a step ahead of light yagami. Ladies and gentlemen, who would have thought that a Shinigami would be the comedic relief, am I right? <laughs> that one always cracked me up. He's definitely my favorite Shinigami. I'm sorry to all the REM lovers out there, but he really, he really is, you know? And no death, no panelist proper without a Shinigami in the Earth realm. Ladies and gentlemen, please make some noise for the voice of Ryu himself, Brian Drummond! You may know him as God of the New World. Or maybe you know him as Kira. Yeah. Whether you're for him or against him, making a rare Soul Cow appearance, it is the voice of Light Yagami, Mr. Brad Swale! Good, man. Thanks for having me. What a beautiful crowd. So yeah. This is amazing. We like it.
relationship that, that you kind of you, you work with each other. He was the you know first character to get the book, and then all of a sudden, without any question, he, has everyone seen this? I can tell you what happens. <laughs> Mr. Ed impression at the same time. That's <laughs> <laughs> all on me. Nobody to blame but my devil. The first take was right. Move on. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we need you to do the laugh though now. Oh, sure. <laughs> I know you were about to drink water, but I mean, you set yourself up for that one, you know? I want to hear the first take. <laughs> yeah. The first take was, ha, 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 I'm Kira.
Oh my, I'm almost. <laughs> oh my god. Look, come on. Let me get him Now I know what it feels like to be a Tess Swift fan. Oh, everybody's gone. They only came for you. They literally came for you. No, they did quick. They were like, all right, my hair is done. This, this, this next panel here is Demon? The Demon Slayer? Demon Slayer? I think so. Why is he going to leave? Because he's on Demon Slayer. Magical Black Girl. Go and take a break. Yep. 
a man, Chazzy. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You. You're the one yeah. that does the, the Death Note panel, right? Yeah, yeah he did, did the Death, 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 Death Note yesterday. Yeah, bro, I did the Bleach. That shit was... Yeah. We were on stage in the Civic Auditorium. Jake Corruption Cosplay just got off stage. What'd you do, man? Oh, dude, I just got to host the My Hero Academia voice actor panel. Yes. And it Ultra. Was yes. Such a blast, man. Plus yes. Ultra indeed, dude. Yeah. Uh, I got to see Christopher Sabat. We got to see all the other voice actors for Midnight, Froppy. Uh, we had a surprise guest, actually. Trina showed up just, uh, just after we started. Mm -hmm. uh, great fill-in because Justin couldn't be here, so that was awesome. Um, we had Hawks. We had Doc. Uh, Dobby yes. and a couple others as well. So that was just, it was such a blast getting to yes, see all those man. guys and ask them all those questions and everything. Um, yes, dude, yeah. you did you did a great job, yeah, man. I was yeah. doing some other panels back at, at, when you were doing yours, so I missed mm -hmm. the beginning of it. I came in the middle of it real quick after the panels. Yeah. Grabbed a few behind the scenes shots for you. Yes. I tried to wave you down, but I was like, you know what? I don't want to mess him up. You know it's what I mean? So I was there. We were in a rhythm. Yep. It was good. And then I had to go going. back, do some other stuff, and then I came and I caught the end of it, man. So you, yes. you, did, a, you did a great oh, job. Thank you, man. You did a great job, man. We're also here with Mike. He did the bleach panel. Let the people know how that went, man. Yo, how you guys doing? It's your boy Mike Fallon. You might have seen me in different films like La La Land, mm -hmm. Lionsgate, Amityville Uprising. Mm. So I got asked to come to the panel today to, to moderate by Anime Pasadena. I was with the cast of Bleach. We had Dan Warren, Doug Erholtz, Brian Beacock. Man, we had Wally Winger, and then we had Neil jump in at the end. He plays Yamamoto on Bleach. Ooh, very cool. So we had very the head cool. captain, we had Renji, we had Byakua, Yumi Chika, and Doug is both Jean Ichimaru, and he's the new Urahara in Thousand Year Blood War. Oh, so we had a lot of fun here at the end of the panel. We, we all got together and got to do a Bankai, mm -hmm. and I almost cried like a little girl. I'm not going to lie. I almost passed <laughs> yes. out. Like, like, like get that yes. water. You know what yes. I mean? Yes. yes. So yes. we had a fun time moderating. We're all moderators here at mm -hmm. Amy Pasadena. Yep. And you guys are going to see the footage. You're going you're gonna to hear about it online. It's going to be yeah. everywhere. Oh, it's going to be It's going to be man. everywhere, man. It's going to be on yeah. the podcast. It's going to be on Anime Pasadena. Who oh. knows? Nerdbot might be messing with stuff. We have oh. no idea, but it's going to be everywhere. Yo, yo, we can't so you guys can definitely catch all of it, man. It's going to be awesome. You see how he's all dressed up plus Ultra? I can't. <laughs> yes. My Gotai 13, Kenny. Get it? Yeah, yeah boy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying, bro? You know, and with yep. the, at the end, when we did that, bro, it felt so crazy to have mm -hmm. a cast. And we were just like, Bonkai. Yes. And then yes. it was just, I, nice. I gotta give props to you, man, for setting that up because we got to do the plus ultra right at the end of the My Hero panel. Beautiful. And having All Might lead us into the plus ultra, absolutely legendary. Yeah, I told yes. you it was that was gonna be a lot so of fun, right? Good. Oh, such a blast. I had chills right at the end, man. It was awesome. Man. I apologize. Oh, let's see how it is. Let's see. Do I have. <laughs> Yeah. Me. Hello. My name is uh, Ben Padden. My pronouns are they, them. I am a writer, comedian, podcaster. I am one of the players on the Doctor Who role-playing game, actual play podcast, The Game of Rassilon. And I'm also very funny, and you're going to laugh at everything I say. <laughs> See? Hello, everybody. I'm Jake Valkyrie. I use human pronouns, and I'm a host, cosplayer, and content creator. Um, I like to paint myself green a lot. I do She-Hulk, but I also do other costumes. I will be entertaining to you all. Hey everyone, I'm Anna. I'm part of the Most Extreme Ranking Challenge Show, and I'm also on a couple other shows, Pop Prison Power and Stuff and Junk Show, and I'm excited to be here and make at least one person laugh. So. As of right now, you're a teammate, but you get to discuss, now you can come up with a name together. You. Me. Yeah. Okay, we're letting them come up with their name? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, all right. So, all right ladies time. and gentlemen, how is everybody doing, first of all? Okay, you guys doing good? My name is Chazzy of the Side Project Podcast. I also did the Death Note panel yesterday, and uh, I'm doing roaming interviews for Anime Pasadena, and I also work with Nerdbot Studios, and I am here on this lovely team with all these lovely people, and we're gonna have a good time. He's so much better said than I am. As I <laughs> stumble over words right there, I can't even say five words. Team placeholders, fighting the final placeholders. I'm so sorry, the, fight, the fighting flight words. The fighting placeholders. I'm gonna allow you guys to pick. Who would you like to defend? Winnie the Pooh, the the best anime character of all time. The movies, he's got you. You know, you're going to an arcade, old school style, he's got you. You go into a, a nice a nice theater play, he's got you. He's there. He's there for any any occasion. Bow tie and all. We're saying that Winnie the Pooh is a plus size icon. How can you not include
include Porky the Pig as a plus size icon. It's in the name as well. The fact that he is a showman. So he was one of the first plus size icons to be a showman. If anything, Pooh is copying Porky. Exactly. Porky the Pig thought about what he put on. His dress suit is always crisp. His tie is always tied. Winnie the Pooh rolled over his bed, grabbed the first clean t-shirt and said, that's good. <laughs> Has to keep asking for honey. His good, his best friend, his best friend is a pig. <laughs> Just hearing you talk about games, 